Greetings, family. Greetings, everyone. I am here today to bring you the November energy reading that I got when I pulled these cards um, from the energy oracle cards. And then I also have um, Oracle of the Seven Energies to wrap it up. So what I, what I decided to do was look at the past energy, current energies, and then maybe what we're going to face in the future. So that's the spread that you see here. And then I have an overall um, clarification card, right? So let's start off with anxiety. <laughs> this is like what I would call our past to transitioning into current energies, right? Um, I feel like a lot of us out here are having feelings of anxiety. Um, we're a little stressed, maybe because of what's going on in the world, the situations that's going on in the world right now. Um but upright, this card is like the storm. So what they're showing is that this woman, she's in distress, right? She's going through anxiety. She's worrying about something. She's not feeling good about it. But they said the scene outside the window um, shows you that the storm is distant and perhaps it's moving away. So this energy that we're kind of stuck in right now, probably because of Mars moving slow through the planets, retrograding, as they say, um, Everything is slowing down and we're feeling kind of stuck. And that can cause quite a bit of anxiety and distress in your life, right? So, we have to let go of some of that worry and that fear. And just remember that this too shall pass. That's the phrase that just came to me. <laughs> this too shall pass, right? We don't have to be stuck in these energies. We can find creative things to move forward. So then I said, okay, so where are we in our current energy, right? And all tied up came out, but it came out reverse. And I normally do not do reversals. Like, I just read it as it is because I think all of it applies, whether it's reversed or not. But this literally popped out reverse, the first card that came out, all tied up. And it says lack of motion or sense of personal freedom. Now, if we were sitting in this energy first, we're moving out of it because this came out reversed. So we're no longer tied up. We can come out of that energy now. We're no longer tied up. This is like the current transitioning energy, right? We're coming out of those vines that are keeping us stuck, right? Um, it's breaking loose. Uh, things are opening up. The restrictions are being cleared out. It's also, this card also means that you could be ready to break free from a habit or pattern that's kept you tied up for a very long time. So it's time to free yourself and liberate yourself, right? And the only way you can do that is to let go of things that you are attached to. Attachments are nice because, you know, it's a sense of community. Um, you know, you're building, but you're building community. But you cannot allow the need to be... Like, attachment and being a part of something is two different things, right? And a lot of times we wear masks, right? We chain our own selves up and we put a mask on, right? So this card is about stopping, about stopping the strong attachments to old patterns or people from the past. And we are releasing that, obviously, because these, all, these came out together, right? The chain at your wrist is bolted to fear from the past or desperation about the future. Although you may wear the mask of pretense, which we all do, or even contentment, you simply can't go forward. The stuff that's keeping you stuck could be physical addictions, emotional patterns, or even old relationships. Are you living in fear, addicted to the old, unhealthy habits, or so desperate about the future that you can't be happy now? That I know people that are so desperate about their future that they can't even sit in the happiness in the presence now, in their now reality, right? And that's true of all a lot of us, right? I, I sit in it too sometimes. So if so, the change that binds you could be of your own making. This card is telling you it's time to take action, take the action that you need and break out of those chains and move forward to an open, free, and healthy, authentically happy life. Listen, this whole message is about letting go of that. When you let go of being tied up, and those attachments, you get the world. <laughs> you get the whole world. You get exactly what you want, right? 
You get the world. The world is about expansion and opening up, right? Let go of all this and open up. The man in this picture is looking out over a bay above a beautiful sphere of the earth that's rotating, right? <laughs> it says, in the modern age of technology, this could specifically be referring to creating or expanding to a more global network through internet or social marketing. Drawing this card also lets you know that you have unlimited resources available to you, and now is the time to think bigger, right? The world is your oyster, so get up. And move into that energy. I love this. All of this is just flowing right. So this is our current energy right now. Letting go of those attachments and moving forward. Expanding, opening up. Our future energy, possibilities, is patience and community. This one I thought was just particularly for me. <laughs> because sometimes I get in these circles of sisters and friends. And I have to... Have a peaceful presence. And it's kind of hard if you don't agree sometimes. But what you have to learn to do is let go. <laughs> right? So these are possibilities. Right? Future possibilities. This angel holds a clock in the stillness of winter. Her quiet, peaceful energy is telling you that it's time to release the old urgency and to look at new, and to look at things with a much clearer perspective. When this card is upright, it's telling you to relax and let go of the single-minded desperation that's been driving you. You are being forced again to let go of the anxiety and be flexible, okay? Let go of the anxiety and be flexible. Be patient, open, and creative. Choose to be peaceful in the present. The universe has more options than you may be aware of. Quiet your mind, broaden your perspective. And let them come through. <laughs> Community. Particularly important for me. Connection with kindred spirits. This card shows three women celebrating and sharing ideas and supportive energy. The lights in the picture represent your ever-present spirit community as well. And I lean on that heavily. More than people. I lean on my spirit more than people. Okay? And I would suggest you do the same. It may be a casual connection of like-minded people joining a club or a community of some sort, or even a business partnership consisting of three or more entities. The time is right to make such new connections and share intentions, whether they're personal or professional. Networking and community are important parts of the human experience, and the security and sense of connection can be beneficial to all. It's true when several people join their intentions, it accelerates their power in the energetic realm. Receiving this card puts you on notice that the universe is sending some beneficial allies your way. I agree with that 100%. And I love the fact that the card is seven, which is my number. Um, you know, so whatever. Let's, let's move forward and then we'll talk a little bit. Birds of a feather is the overall reading, the overall um, clarity of this reading. And I love this because it's about sharing community, a sense of belonging, fellowship with like-hearted people, and understanding the concept of we before me. It's not about attaching to anything. That's, that has been a challenge for me most of my life, making attachments as opposed to building community, right? So that when someone goes away out of my life, I feel sad and I feel like I didn't belong or I feel like they let me, let me go. They don't love me no more. You know, they don't like me no more. And it was never that. It was the fact that they were learning a lesson, too, about attachment as well and expanding and opening up. Right? So birds of a feather. You ever heard the saying birds of a feather flock together? What I'm learning is that's true, right? But also you can't run away from people who may not be like you or people who may not agree with you. Don't run away from them. But know that, but don't attach to them either, right? Use a spirit of discernment and know who should be in your circle and who should not. And then also take out your three feathers. I call, in my, you know, some people call them spoons. I'm going to call them three feathers. In my family, we do three feathers, right? And we have different sizes of feathers, right? So sometimes the feather may be smaller than the other. Extend your feather. Know how close you want that person to come into you, that community to be Sometimes people get the long feather because I ain't, I ain't, I'm not putting them too close to me. They don't know too much about me. I just share certain ideas and experiences. Some people get a medium-sized feather, right? 
These three feathers represent the three branches of culture in my family. They've always existed in my family. So in celebration of Native Her Her um, American Heritage Month, I just thought I would extend the three feathers. Um, sometimes people get a short feather because I want to bring them in closer to me. But a lot of people got the long feather. Because in order for you to come within my field of energy, <laughs> you got to be able to have a short feather. <laughs> so a lot of people get the long feather, okay? And if you get this little teeny weeny feather, woo, that means you you in my family, you my circle, you my people. <laughs> so anyway, birds of a feather flock together. Uh, have you ever wondered how people naturally gravitate to one another and discover surprising intimacy and connection? There's a kind of magnetic energy like an invisible ray of light that gently pulls people together to form something beautiful that can be shared, right? Um, some uh, Us as a community always have of feeling an instinctual need and feeling for belonging, right? We need community to survive and thrive and grow, but we don't have to become attached, right? We are humans and we are social creatures, right? And none of us are meant to be alone. The concept of belonging is playing an important role in your lives currently, especially in mine. Because sometimes, and I'm going to say this, and I know some people are going to hear it. Please don't take offense to this. This is just me speaking my truth. Sometimes I get in circles of people, and I feel like I really don't belong. Sometimes I feel like um, I am that things that I might place in a circle of conversation have not been heard and is not being felt. But that's not necessarily true, right? But that comes from my challenge of having um, of of needing a sense of belonging, right? And I keep forgetting that I'm a unique being. I'm a unique being, not saying that everybody isn't, but once you discover what you were sent here for, you're gonna feel a little lonely, right? Because you may not be able to connect with people on a certain level. You see how they on different levels? These birds are on all different levels. I consider myself here right now because my, my 5D energy is here. Some people are still on 3D energy and some people are moving through it. But I'm here, so I can't go back down here. I have to stay here. So some circles I will have to leave, right? Some circles I will not be able to stay in, and that's fine. And then some circles I can stay in, but I will only contribute but so much, and that's fine too. Everything is good. It's all good, right? And that's, that's part of my challenges and things I need to learn, right? Um, the concept of belonging is playing an important role right now. Uh, Sometimes you get in a group and you know you're in the right place, right? And you trust those strands of connections. But then you have to use your discernment and know if you should stay, right? So what you will find is a deeper and more expansive way, once again, expanding out to share your ideas, your hopes, and your dreams, right? Sometimes people can ignite you and then you just move on. Some people trigger you and you stay and you fuss and fight and try to get them to see your side. No, no, no. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't ever do that. Right? So, when you're with a network of like-minded and like-hearted people, stick to what feels good and resonates in your heart is true. If it doesn't, let it go. And it's okay. Let it go. Don't attach. Right? This message, I feel like this message is more for me than anybody. <laughs> When you understand the value of this community, you will discover everything you're hoping for and much more than you're expecting. So choose how you go into groups, right, of people and community of people. You can choose that and you can stay or you can go depending on how you feel. Use your spirit of discernment and know what's right for you. And don't feel bad about it, right? Don't feel bad about it. Stand in your truth. Stand in what you believe is true for you. It's important. I love this reading, and I hope that you enjoyed it, too. I'm going to come back with a Native American Heritage Month reading because I have to honor my people, my Native people, my African culture of people, right, and then my galactic family. So I want to definitely um, come back and do another reading, but I hope you enjoyed this one. Take time to do what makes your soul happy always, right? Visit my website, www.happylightbeing.com slash store for products and readings. Um, 
Also, get your free seeds. I'm going to start doing them seasonally as opposed to monthly because it's kind of hard <laughs> to keep up with and do all the other things that I'm trying to do. So I'll just distribute them quarterly and or seasonally, and you'll be fine. Um, that's called the New Earth Collaborative, um, which is about uh, seed and feed. So um, check that out on my website as well. Um, and then I'm offering also some aroma touch modalities, so you can check that out on my website as well. Be happy, be light, be love. Namaste, Nisilia. Have a great day.